I would describe the rule of law as fairness. Um, it is a set of rules that everyone needs to abide by. We can't have peaceful interactions with one another without the rule of law. Our social compact is based on the idea that we are each and every one of us accountable to the law. Your right to swing your fist stops just short of my nose. And that's what the rule of law is meant to do, is to find that boundary between expression, freedom, liberty, and everything we want to do, and when we hurt others. For example, this morning, I went to buy a breakfast sandwich. And everything that I did to get that sandwich was related to the rule of law in some way, in the sense that I was able to cross the street safely because I knew that the people driving their cars were going to stop at the stoplight. And I had trust that they were going to do that because there would be consequences under our law for that. I can get up in the morning and know that the, the dollar will be accepted down the street at the grocery store. Um, I, can, I can go to the post service and, and expect that, that I can uh, retrieve my mail and uh, that someone won't take it or that, that someone won't view it uh, without my permission. I then go and buy the breakfast sandwich. I know that the company I'm buying the breakfast sandwich from has to follow the rule of law and with regard to food regulation, so I know that the food I eat is going to be safe. The company similarly can't overcharge me because there's going to be penalties for that. It affects our quality of life in that we're able to sleep at night knowing that tomorrow morning we'll wake up, the stock market will be working, um, the speed limits will be enforced, uh, the laws will be applied to each and every one of us. One of the great things about the rule of law is the protection of minority rights. Our Constitution has embedded within it a counter-majoritarian principle. What the Founding Fathers said was to protect us against the tyranny of the majority. The most important thing that I felt from taking the oath was to make sure that I applied the rule of law in a fair manner to everyone. And what that means is that 51% of the people or 90% of the people can't deprive the minority of certain inalienable rights. The right to worship, the right to speak, the freedom of the press, the right to keep and bear arms, the right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures. No matter what their background, um, no matter where they came from, no matter what they look like. And that's what I try to do every day, is to apply the law fairly and evenly to every party that's before me. We are bound to follow the law. Uh, the law is the, the statutes, the law that is written by people who are elected by the people. Uh, and uh, we have to comply with that law. Uh, we have to follow the Constitution. New citizens swear an oath, not to the flag or to the president or to America, but to the Constitution, to our supreme law of the land. The rule of law means that everybody understands what the law is, and everybody also understands that they will be held to that law, and that there's no way of getting out of that, including the government. Rule of law means that the laws are public. People know what they're expected to do, and you can rightfully hold them to that knowledge. Now, I'm not saying you could go out in the street and give a quiz about the U.S. Code to every person who's walking by, but the public nature of the law is critical and the public nature of the judicial process is critical. After reading a lot about Greek history, uh, Roman Republic, Roman Empire, all the way forward up to the present day, it was interesting to see what made civilizations thrive and what made civilizations fail. And the only civilizations that thrived were civilizations that emphasized the rule of law.